Hey, how's it going? Doing yourself first. Today I'm going to show you how you can clean your throttle body and your idle air control valve. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on this 99 Mitsubishi Montero, but this procedure should be the same for nearly all vehicles. Now before we get started, here are some symptoms of a dirty throttle body or a clogged idle air control valve. So I got here a throttle body with an idle air control valve from a Subaru. And what happens is when you have excessive carbon buildup inside your throttle body, kind of similar to what you see we have here, is that the excessive carbon buildup here is going to get in the way of your throttle plate opening, opening freely, which will cause you to have a sticky gas pedal. Basically, when you get in the car and step on the gas pedal, the throttle cable, which is attached to here, tries to turn this. The carbon buildup gets in the way of this throttle plate opening up freely, and therefore, you feel a sticky gas pedal. Now, another sign of you having a dirty throttle body is that the carbon buildup actually keeps from this throttle plate from closing all the way. Therefore, it keeps it a little bit open. Extra air gets by this throttle plate, therefore causing you to have a high RPM at idle. Now, as far as the idle air control valve is concerned, the job of this valve is to allow air to bypass your throttle plate at idle. See, when you press on the gas pedal, you open up this throttle plate and allow air from your air filter box to enter the engine. But at idle, with this throttle plate closed, there is a bypass here which as you can see right there, which is going to allow air to go from this side of the throttle plate when the throttle plate is closed to the other side of the throttle plate and come out and enter your engine this way. And the job of your idle air control valve is to open up a valve that would allow air to only go through this bypass at idle. Now if this valve fails completely, you'll have a really hard time starting your car or idling. It would be a really rough idle. Or if the valve doesn't fail, but this passage gets clogged up with carbon buildup, then you also have very poor idle. In fact, you have more than likely have a very low idling car. And if you haven't done this before, here's how you locate these components. You start at your uh, filter box, which is this guy right here. Then you follow that, and if your car is equipped with one, you're gonna get your mass airflow sensor, which is the meter metering sensor that tells your computer how much air is getting inside the engine. And then from there, you keep going and you get to, get to your throttle body, which is this guy. And then your idle air control valve, depending on your car's make and model, it's usually screwed onto your throttle body. So first thing you wanna do is disconnect these clamps that are holding our uh, filter box. Next we wanna do this connector for our MAF sensor. Next you wanna remove all vacuum lines that are connected to this air hose. So we'll disconnect this one here. And there's also a PCV hose back here that we need to remove, like that. And next we'll undo this clamp that's holding in our air hose to our throttle body. So next we're gonna get this piece out of here. Just pull up here, pull and wiggle, and here it comes. Here's something else that could cause poor idle issues that usually gets overlooked, which is a dirty or clogged air filter. Because if you have a dirty or partially clogged air filter, that's gonna restrict the amount of air that's getting inside your engine. And this is gonna be more noticeable at idle. And here's a look at our throttle body and the idle air control valve on this car. A word of caution though, if on your car your throttle plate is controlled electronically by an electric motor like we have on this setup that I'm showing you here and not mechanically controlled by a cable like on the car or the Subaru throttle body that I showed you earlier, I don't recommend you cleaning these manually because then if you touch this throttle plate and move it around with your hand, you're gonna throw off the calibration and in order to reset that, you're gonna have to go to a dealer or a mechanic shop and that's gonna be a bit of a pain. So what you wanna do next is to get yourself some throttle body and air intake cleaner and then spray some on both the throttle plate and then manually open the throttle plate and spray some inside there as well. Also grab a rag and soak it too. And next you manually open your throttle plate and start cleaning away. And the areas you wanna pay special attention to are both the lip of this throttle plate and the area where this throttle plate comes to a rest, both on the bottom and up top. So next we're gonna remove our idle air control valve by removing these two screws on the side. Actually first we'll remove this connector for it and then these two screws. And make sure you don't lose a gasket for this uh, idle air control valve when you pull it out. Okay. And here's a closer look at our idle air control valve. And the way this works on this setup is that air goes through here, through these two ports down here. And normally this idle control valve is in the closed position. In other words, it's completely extended out, blocking the flow of air from here on further. But at idle, this valve pulls back in 
and it allows air to go from this side at the bottom of the throttle body to the other side and come out of those two ports that you may see on the other side of the throttle plate. Now on this car everything looks pretty clean and there's no signs of any clogging but if on yours it is, again you would use some throttle body cleaner with a combination of rags and some plastic wire brushes to thoroughly clean these passages. If you have to use one of these though make sure again you use a plastic wire brush. So after we clean everything up, it's time to put everything back together and installation is going to be the reversal of removal. Just make sure you don't skip any steps and hopefully you'll be able to get rid of your rough idle after this. But if this doesn't solve your rough idle, then I suggest you watch these other videos. I'll put it up on the screen as video links so you can just click on it. But before you do that, if you find anything useful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.